Good morning guys and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jasmine McDonald. If you're new here, I post ballet and fitness related videos every single Tuesday, Thursday, and now Sunday. And if you're also new, you may as well hit subscribe. It is Friday, February 3rd, and my morning classes from 9 until 10, 10 to 11 actually move to be afternoon classes, so I don't start until 1, meaning I'm gonna clean the house a little bit, and I have time to do some ballet on a Friday, which I never do, which is kind of nice. I also have to wash my hair because it's a little bit greasy, so I'm going to have breakfast first, and then dance, and then shower, and clean and Steven gets home around 1.30. He's been gone the last couple of days, so that'll be nice. And last night, the weather was horrible. Driving home, I was literally like, just because of the snow squalls and the wind and everything. So I got home a little bit early last night, but I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna go back to work. I'm gonna use this opportunity to relax. I should have had a bubble bath, but I just watched the Pamela Anderson documentary. On that note, I'm gonna go have my breakfast because I just heard it finish in the microwave and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Slowly, the closet is becoming less and less organized. Again, here are the leotards. So I'm gonna do a bit of a ballet class. I was gonna wash my face, do my makeup and everything, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna shower after because I have to wash my hair anyway. So I'm gonna dance first because I'll get nice and sweaty. And hmm, leotard. It's so sad because I reorganized this closet in like three hours and it looks like it started before I organized it again in the mere week. So I just need to get better at putting things away nicely and properly instead of just like throwing it in a bin which isn't that bad, but like, ugh. I don't know. I think also it just is hard for me to look at things that are out in the open because it overwhelms me. So I like having things put away at least because even if I don't, you know, if it's not super organized and folded, at least I don't see it. So it looks more organized if that makes any sense. Um, yeah, I'm going to pick a leotard to wear. I keep saying leotard weird. Leotard. Um, <laughs> Steve is coming home around 1.30. Probably wear this one. I wear this one pretty often though. I want to get out of my box. Mm. Oh, this is a good pick. I haven't worn this one in a while. So I'm going to do this, some tight maybe and maybe this Yumiko skirt that I wore last time but it just goes so nicely and maybe I'll wear some warm-ups on top I do have one of these garbage bag warm-ups that I really like and it's cold today there's actually a cold warning on the weather app which is scary because I can't imagine not having a warm home and being outside in the cold so that sucks which is always a great idea to donate to, you know, shelters, women's shelters. All your old clothes, don't throw them away. Donate them. But yeah, I'm gonna wear this and get changed and do a ballet class. Finished filming some TikToks, hence the prettier outfit than before. Also, my tights have a rip in them now. I'm gonna go shower now. 
Um, it's beautiful lighting out, so I want to try to get some pictures because it's never this sunny in the winter. It's been cloudy a lot of the time, and it's gorgeous outside, so I might even take Elsa for a WALK once my hair dries. But I am teaching at noon now from 12 to 1, and then I'm pretty much teaching straight until 7 o'clock. So I'm going to go shower now because I could wait till the end of the evening, but when Steven gets home, I just want to hang out with him because I haven't seen him in a couple days, so I'm going to go shower. Now. Just finished showering. I washed my face just now. I'm gonna use the Good Jeans by Sunday Riley on my skin and then do a nice heavy moisturizer because it's super dry today. Um, it is 11.30 and I start teaching in about an hour and a half. I'm gonna try to shovel the driveway outside because I didn't do it while Steve was away and there's a lot of snow and just in case there's any deliveries or anything, I don't want anybody to fall and slip. But obviously before doing that, I have to dry my hair because it is cold outside. Last time I left my hair wet and I went outside, it froze, which isn't a cute look. So I'm gonna go dry my hair and I've still been using my Dove products. I didn't use them for one day when I was at my parents I didn't want to pack a bunch of stuff. I'm going to use the 7 in 1 Miracle Mist as well as the Breakage Remedy Leave On Treatment. And I really love this one. You basically part your hair into different sections. So I'll show you now. Also, this towel has seen better days. So you basically lift your hair into sections like this and then you just spray it in those parts and you massage it into your scalp. It's supposed to help with breakage, I guess. I probably could have combed my hair before this, but whatever. That's probably enough. I usually do about four to eight sections and then massage it in. But I only did four today because, you know, that's just how I felt. I'm so over this cold weather. I just am so excited to go to the cottage and relax and not have to leave and be all cozy and warm. We're actually going sometime in February, March. I'll definitely shoot content then for you guys. Not quite sure when we're leaving actually. Probably March, sometime like that. Here we go. And then I'm going to use the 7-in-1 Miracle Mist on the rest of my hair. Okay. And then I'm just going to kind of brush that through and I'm going to blow dry my hair so that it dries faster since I am going to be braving the cold today. Before I do that, maybe I'll do my makeup though because I just want to do that before. Do you know when you just get really energetic? That's how I'm feeling right now. I woke up like bleh, and I listened to my body and I just kind of had a chill morning, sat with my coffee and my pets. You know, I was pretty chill this morning. And then after doing my ballet class, after a shower, I feel like a whole new person. I'm going to use the Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty, which is the best moisturizer. And I know that's a lot, but I use it on my body as well. So I put a healthy amount on my skin because it's super dry here. Like I've mentioned 10 million times on my channel. Like I mentioned earlier, the drive last night was super sketchy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere today because the roads are probably also not amazing. I'm part of a bunch of different Facebook groups. Give you an insight as to what the road conditions are in the area. And every time I look on today, they're like, oh, road's closed here, cars in the ditch here, avoid this road. So I'm doing my best to avoid all of those roads. It is about 12 o'clock now. I just showered, did my makeup. And my lipstick's coming off because I'm having lunch now. That's the microwave. Microwaving my chili. And then after I have that, I'm gonna go try to shovel some stuff, shovel some snow. And then I have a class at one. So I'll catch you guys later, I guess. I feel like I've just been like, catch you guys later. But that's the reality of my day. Even though I said, yeah, I have plenty of time. That time that I had plenty of, I allotted to dancing and doing something for myself. And I just vacuumed the upstairs a little bit as well as cleaned some of the floor. So yeah, I'm gonna go have lunch now that it's ready. I'm also not so used to a full coverage look, but what do you guys think, honestly? I did the Ilia skin tint that has SPF 40, and then I did some Ilia blush. I also did some contour and some mascara. That's pretty much it. Oh, and concealer as well from Kosas. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. And to get some more greens in, I'm going to have this Yogi juice from Dose Juice. It is a cold pressed organic juice that has celery, kale, spinach, and you can see all the ingredients on here. It also has spinach, lemon, ginger, parsley, chlorophyll. And yeah, don't forget to use my code for 15% off. It's Jasmine McD. I'll put it up here. Whenever this package arrives at my door, I love how it comes in an insulated box that keeps them cool and fresh until arrival. And they've been my savior when I'm on the go, honestly. How cute is this little snow suit that Steve got me for Christmas. I'm gonna go outside and shovel. So 
Steve and I are gonna go out for breakfast. I have a little bit of a cold because it was like negative 40 degrees yesterday and it was really cold. So don't mind my sniffling and my voice, but the outfit that I'm wearing today is very much out of my comfort zone. This blue top from Old Navy is like a little thermal because it's so old where we live. So I'm wearing this to keep me warm and then these jeans that are my mom's. <laughs> of course, we love mom jeans. And I'm gonna go do some makeup now, probably put it on TikTok. We are doing this National Geographic Break Open 2 Geodes kit. Came with a set of goggles, which is pretty neat. I'm ready to break shit. Okay, so Steven got some chisels. I'm gonna do this one in hopes that it looks similar to this agate. Agate, I don't really know how to say it, but I'm hoping it's that one. Steven's gonna do the other one. Let's see, this is what they look like before we break them open. Okay, you ready? Ready. Your turn. Ready, that'll break it. Ready? Oh. It's so ugly. <laughs> it's so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> mm, look at how fancy that one is. What the National <laughs> Geographic? Wow, I haven't sat here on the floor to do my makeup in such a long time, basically since we did the bathroom. I always do my makeup in the bathroom standing at the vanity now. I thought I would change up the scenery a little bit and go back to the good old days of doing makeup on the floor. Even though I guess last week, technically I did makeup on the floor at my parents' house, which if you watched last week's vlog, you'll remember this little headband thing. I just wanted to sit here and catch up with you guys and kind of keep you up to date with what's gone on, I suppose. I'm gonna do a little bit more of a full coverage look Again, I went on a date yesterday with Steve. We spent the day together. It was Sunday and I don't work on Sunday, so it was really nice. It was really nice to just kind of chill and hang out and do what we wanted to do and not have to worry about work or sending off emails or filming content or whatever. So we started off the day by slowly getting up and then I had a shower and we went out to Stack Pancake House, a franchise, I guess, near us. And we got breakfast. I got the scrambled egg hash. I don't eat eggs really, but there was no eggless option other than pancakes. And I'd had pancakes three times last week. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go for the scrambled egg hash. Well, it was actually a hash and you get to choose what you want for your eggs. And I should have chosen like hard boiled or something because I do not like eggs. They don't sit well with me. So I let Steve eat my eggs and I had the rest of the hash browns or the hash and it was really good. I guess I should have warmed up the product in my hands first. And then after that, we actually did a date, which we saw on TikTok during the first lockdown. And the premise is that you go together and you go to like a wall Walmart or shoppers or wherever you're going to shop and you're gonna shop for each other. You set a limit, so we set a $50 limit and we buy something to eat, something to drink, something to do together, something that the other person needs and something that the other person wants. And we were watching one of my vlogs the other day, one of my old vlogs from like almost two years ago. And this was the first time we had done that. Last night when we did this date, we went to Walmart. He got me quite a few things. He got me some apple snacks to eat. I got him Pop-Tarts, I also got him chips, and he also got me vegan chocolate because I kind of texted him while we were in Walmart because we split off. Oh, by the way, there's this vegan chocolate that looks really good, so he obviously had to get that. Um, and then what else did we get each other? He got me like this geode set where you get two geodes. It's from National Geographic, and I think it's a kid's thing. So one of my students actually has it, but you get to make crystals. Basically, you get these two geodes. It comes with a set of safety goggles, magnifying glass, and a little stand, and they're like this big, and you smash them. I failed at it, and this is funny, actually. Basically the two geodes that we got one of them looked super gorgeous on the outside it was like this purple shade and i'm like i bet that's amethyst or agate agate i don't know how to say it um so i took that one he was like okay go ahead i'll get you know 
the normal gray one. Figures that the normal gray one is gonna be, we expected that the normal gray one's gonna be kind of like wah, wah, and that the purple one's gonna be like gorgeous. So I picked that one, I was being selfish. And you know what happened? Yeah, Steve's was the gorgeous one. It was like this beautiful quartz. And I got, I don't wanna say it's ugly, but like it just wasn't as nice. It wasn't as nice. So I'll play the clips for you guys here. So yeah, we did that yesterday and we had our snack. We started watching The End of Us, so good, so good. What else did we get each other? Um, oh, he got me uh, for something. I need. He got me some sliders because I need them for my workout videos and for something he needs. I forget what I got him. Mm, oh, I got him some fishing stuff that I know he uses. Um, what else did he get me? Oh, look at this. Got me this. Steven got me this. It's something I want. How adorable. Comment a name for this guy. I can't decide on his name. We have a sloth named Travis. So Travis is out of the mix. Comment other names that you think would suit the sloth. So yeah, yesterday was really, really fun. Other than that, we just kind of hung out and watched The End of Us and the new RuPaul Drag Race season 15 episode. We love RuPaul's Drag Race. We're also watching, I'm re-watching and he's watching season three. I watched season three ages ago. So it's always fun to go back to these episodes and these seasons where everything's so much older. Oh my God. The editing is so different and TikTok didn't exist then. So, and social media wasn't as big then, at least with the Queens. So it's always fun to re-watch that. And yeah. I'm teaching this afternoon from three o'clock until 8.30. So that's why I'm doing a bit more makeup because I'm not sweating much today. I guess I could have done a workout before I did this, but you know what? I figure I'm gonna have a bubble bath tonight because I had a shower yesterday morning. And I like to alternate between the two since we have our beautiful bathroom, which I still need to do a bathroom tour for as well. I know I've been saying that for so long now, but it's hard because, I mean, I can't film all of it by myself, but Steve also works and he can't film it. He needs me. So that'll just have to wait for probably the summer when we're both a little bit more free. I'm gonna set this with some setting spray really quickly. I wish I had setting powder, so I'm gonna have to order that next time, but I use this Fix Plus spray from MAC Cosmetics. My mom gave this to me, so. In my eye. What I like most about Mondays is that I start early. So I have to wake up early and I get a lot done because I start early. I find on the days when I can sleep in and I don't have a lot going on in the mornings, I'm kind of lazy. For example, Thursdays, I don't start teaching usually until 1 p.m. So my mornings on Thursdays are like so lazy. At the same time though, I'm listening to my body because I teach so late Thursdays. I don't get home until like 10 o'clock at night. I didn't blend that well. I'm gonna do some eyeshadow too because why not? Yesterday I had so much fun with my makeup. It's not as cold today. Oh my gosh, that was way too much. It's not as cold today as it was yesterday or the past few days. It's been freezing cold where we live. It was actually negative 36 degrees and it makes me really sad that it's that cold because I just think about all the animals that are outside and freezing. I'm going to put on my mascara. I love that this stuff is waterproof because if I go on a walk with Elsa and snowing out, my makeup never runs because I use the setting spray and I use this mascara. Funny story, the first time I went ice fishing with Steve, I did not have waterproof mascara and I did not have waterproof eyeliner. So I put on makeup because we'd only been dating for a couple months. Um, we weren't even living together or anything. And I went with him and oh my goodness, I had makeup like running down my face. I was so embarrassed. Now I don't care. I just don't wear makeup that early because we would have to get up at like 5 a.m. and I do not have time for that. Remember the times when you used to get up for school, straighten your hair, do your makeup? Yeah, I don't do that anymore. Even for work, look, I worked a full morning. I worked not a full morning, like three hours teaching and I still, I'm doing my makeup now, it's noon. Maybe that's a sign I need to get into a better morning routine. Well, whatever, this works for me. Watch, I'm gonna watch the footage later today and be like, I missed a big clump of mascara. I guess while I'm kind of doing this update with you guys this morning, I figured I would let you know that I am now certified as a BarFit instructor by BarFit BCN or BarFit Barcelona. I'm so, so happy to share with you guys that I completed this entire program, finished the exam, passed it, and I wanted to share some my experience with you. If you've been following me on TikTok and Instagram, you're well aware I've been training with BarFit BCN with their teacher training program. What I love most about it is that it is online, on demand, and I could take it anywhere. For example, I took it with me over the holidays. I went to my in-laws house, to my parents' house, and I was able to study because everything was on my laptop. I just took my notebook with me. Everything was really easy to follow along as well. And the material that came with the program when you purchase it would be great for any person starting out as a fitness instructor because there is so 
much detail regarding anatomy, exercise. There's even a crash course in nutrition and an introduction to postpartum and prenatal exercises and the anatomy that relates to this wonderful time in a woman's life. I thought I would show you guys the actual certification, what it looks like. So as you guys know, I did the final exam, which was the written portion. I sent that in, that got approved, and I actually did the video portion and posted it this week. And I'm newly certified with them. Here is the exam feedback. And as you can see, this is the certification, which I'll have to print up and post everywhere. I might even go to like Staples and get it professionally printed because I do have a couple other certifications I wanna get printed nicely, like my PBT one, as well as my personal training one. I have a copy of the personal training one I got printed, but it's just nice to have all of them posted. If you are interested in becoming a certified bar fit instructor, I will leave a discount code for you guys to use to purchase this course. My code is barfitjazz15 so that my community can enjoy 15% off as a discount on this course. Like I mentioned before, one of my favorite aspects about this teacher training program is that it is online and accessible on demand whenever you want, whenever you need. I could go on for days about how much I love this program. I feel like I really learned so much throughout this entire process and this journey. So comment below if you want an entire video dedicated to my journey with BarFit BCN. I would be happy to share that with you and to document my journey because I have been documenting it on TikTok and Instagram thus far and I can include some of the footage, some of my processes throughout that. So again, comment down below if you want an entire video dedicated to becoming a BarFit instructor. As always, it's a pleasure. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, happy dancing, and until next time, bye now.